Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla and in this video, I will be showing you guys my entire bag collection. So without further ado, let's get into this video. I am going to start with this speedy bag. It is a vintage, well, I I don't want to call it a vintage. Like, it, it was made in, like, 1995. I was born in 1994, so I don't want to call this vintage. Um, but it is a speedy bag from the 1990s. I got it from Fashion File. Um, I saw it online. I was like, this is so freaking cute. I have to get it. Um, and it came in really good condition. Like, whoever had this bag, they cared for it because... It's really hard to find some really good vintage, there, there goes that word, vintage speedy bags in good condition, especially with the canvas not cracked. Next up, we have the mini Dionysus. Let me just do this. I'm very awkward right now. Um, whoa, ciao. There we go. So this is my mini Dionysus bag. Actually, I think this is like the like the super mini. Um and the Gucci print. Really cute. Um this is like my go-to bag when I'm just running out. Nothing crazy. I don't need to carry a lot with me. Um especially like if I'm going to a Target or something like that. I don't really want to carry a heavy bag. You know what I'm saying? So this is a perfect bag for that. I also wear this bag out, you know, depending on the occasion. But it's super cute. Um, and I got this off of one of my favorite places to shop uh, luxury items. I got it from Farfetch. Farfetch is freaking awesome. Um, you can find a lot of things on discounted. And they're real, 100% authentic. Uh, you can find pre-love, but you can also find new bags. And this was a completely new bag. My next bag, this is the Balenciaga Micro City Bag. Super cute. I absolutely adore this bag. And I got this bag before that whole thing with Balenciaga happened. Um, so please don't fault me, guys. But I it's a great bag. The leather on this bag is great. It's strong, but it's soft. You can fit a lot of things in here, even though it is a mini bag. I can fit my phone in here. Um, just with the little a little sauce, you know what I'm saying? A little finesse. I can fit a lip gloss in here. Um, there's a card holder for your cards. So this really is a cute bag, especially like a little going out bag. Um, or just like even if you're going exploring or something like that, you know, it has the strap. You could just throw it on and look cute and go dress it up, dress it down. Perfect. Um, so I'm not getting rid of this bag. And I also got this bag from Farfetch as well. So I'm telling y'all guys. And I got this bag, like it was three, four hundred dollars less, right? Um, compared to the Balenciaga website. Now I will say, disclaimer, you have to know how to shop on Farfetch. Um, my suggestion, if you are looking to buy a bag, um, Farfetch is a great place to start. I would say go to their sales section because I kid you not, there's a lot of bags in there that are just chef's kiss. There's Salvatore Ferragamo, brings me to my next bag, Jacquemise. Um, Balenciaga. Um, I don't think I saw any Gucci on there, but I also saw a YSL. So get into it. So I also got this bag from Farfetch. 
And I got this bag uh, $200 off. So this bag retails, this is the Jacquemise Bambino Long. It retails for about, I think, $850, at least at the time when I got it. I got this last summer, um, summer of 2022, and I paid six something for this. I think before taxes. So all in all, I saved around a hundred to one hundred fifty dollars, um, give or take. But absolutely gorgeous. It's so beautiful, and I was trying to decide which bag I wanted to get because it was either going to be this bag or it was, or it was going to be the Salvatore Ferragamo uh, Studio Box Bag, I believe it's called. In pink and oh my gosh gorgeous bag but I decided to get the Dracomis bag because I feel like this just goes with a lot more different occasions the uh, box bag is beautiful and great but I don't really see myself like going out at night with that bag um, and I like to go out so <laughs> I picked this bag up and I absolutely adore it so pink, so pretty. You gotta have a Telfy in your collection. I have these three minis. Wow. I don't know why I got red. I do like the orange. I do like the black. Of course, you have to have black. But the orange, I mean, the red, I wish I got another color. I wish I got like that cobalt blue or something like that. But we all know about, about Telfar, vegan leather. Um, cool bags to just throw on, um, and go on about your day. And then I also have the large Telfar bag because every girl needs a weekend bag. Okay. This bag is perfect, um, to just throw some things in there for a weekend or whatever the case may be, I actually took this bag with me to London. This was my uh, low-key, like, carry-on bag. No, this is my personal item. I think I, like, had this as my personal item. And perfect. But so much in here. So this tabby bag is so freaking cute. It's so soft. It's so squishy. And I'm really, I'm so happy I got this. Um, when I did, because they don't even, I don't even think they sell the gold tiny tabby bags anymore. So I'm happy I got it. Super cute, super squishy. Next up, we have this gorgeous, like envelope kind of coach bag. Perfect. Um, I usually just carry it like this. It does come with the chain. I cannot find the chain right now. Wait, let's see if the chain is in here. Nope, the chain is not in here. But it comes with a really pretty chain. Um, it's a gold chain with like, the you know, the detailing that Coach does on their chains. So it comes with that. And it's just really cute. It's simple. It's classy. You can't really tell like what kind, like, you know, where I got this bag from. So I really like that. You know, sometimes you just want a simple bag where, you know, People can't tell where you got it from. And this is the perfect leather bag. And honestly, I don't know why people slept on Coach for so long. Because Coach has great quality leather. This leather is so soft, so smooth. I have no scratches on this bag and I be throwing it around. Okay? So let's move on. All right. So this next bag, I actually got this bag um, with that black bag that you guys saw previously. Wow. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so I think this bag is absolutely gorgeous. I've kind of outgrown it a little bit, though. Um, I don't really wear it. And in this new season of my life, I really want to... You know, it, if it's not serving me a purpose anymore, get rid of it. So this bag is actually up on Depop right now. 
uh, it retails for four fifty. <laughs> yeah, so it's not a cheap bag. Um, you can see the chain that comes with the bag. Well, you can't really take it off. It's a shoulder bag, but you can also wear it as crossbody. But yes, this is a gorgeous bag. This is the Coach Hunton bag. Um, the strap detailing is absolutely gorgeous. I, I mean, it's such, it's a classy, it's a classy bag. What can I say? So this is refined calf leather. Um, so there is a little bit of wear and tear at the back, but like, honestly, like literally looks pretty much brand new. So like I said before, this bag will be up on my Depop page along with other items that you guys can look at and peruse and see if you want to get. I will be adding, study adding to my Depop store. Um, but yes, whoa, girl, this setup I have here is kind of dangerous, y'all. But let's move on. So maybe this right here. Absolutely love this bag. This is the Alma BB bag in monogram. I have a whole video on this, so I'm not going into too much detail, but you can fit a good amount. You just have to be careful because it does start to gape at the top. But I actually got this from the Louis Vuitton website if you want to know how I was able to get it because a lot of the times these bags, these Alma BB bags are out of stock. This one and the, was it the Demare one? I call it the checker print. The checker print, um, <laughs> I could have gotten that also because I can't, you know what? Watch the video, y'all. Watch, watch, watch my video. Okay. I have these gorgeous... Kirk Geiger London bags. This was my first Kirk Geiger London bag, and I actually was able to score it for $50 off of where I score it. Nordstrom Rack. I think Nordstrom, Ma Nordstrom Rack. I think I got this from Nordstrom Rack, yeah. And online. Scored it for $50. $50. It retailed for $150. This is like their velvet material it's not real material but it's definitely a gorgeous bag i have yet to wear this out i need to wear this bag out because it really is a gorgeous bag at the end of the day i just haven't really i don't know i don't know i just wear like the same three bags and call it a day but i'm trying to get into my closet more hey maybe it might end up on depop i don't know but don't don't hold me to that y'all and then this bag absolutely gorgeous um beautiful i think it's such a gorgeous bag just to like throw one you're just running out you could dress it up dress it down as well um yes and this bag is leather um it is leather now, this leather may be a little bit thinner than the other leathers. Oh my God, guys, I have like a little stain. So I like to walk and eat and walk and drink a lot. <laughs> so I had to wipe down some of my bags for filming this video. But regardless, we're here now. But yes, so gorgeous bag. It's leather, 150 Kurt Geiger London. They, I think they have discounts pretty often. So, great starter bags. Let's move on. Here I have this beautiful Stod bag. Uh, Stod is like I feel like like an up and coming kind of bag brand. Now this bag is one hundred percent leather. Even though honestly, like when you see it in person, I don't know if it really gives that vibe, but. It is leather, and this bag cost me like I think two fifty, two hundred, or two fifty around like in that range. Um, but it's a cute bag. I really got this bag because I did like the handles. Now looking on their website and seeing other bags, I 
low-key wished I would have went with something else because I don't really know if white bags are my thing but it's cute and it has like the little crocodile kind of print very kind of like y2k this next bag I also have a review on this bag up on my page and this is the Teddy Blake bag Ava and Fuchsia absolutely gorgeous this leather is great, very strong, um, and I'd be throwing around this bag too. Super gorgeous, just cute, everyday little bag that you could fit a lot in as well, and it comes with a strap. Um, let's move on. And I also have review on this bag. This is the JW Pie. Um, I don't, I always forget what kind of shape bag this is, but it's from JW Pie. I have a review on it, y'all. Y'all can go check it out. Super cute. And in addition to this JW Pie bag, I also have this bag. And this is a shoulder bag. JW Pie, vegan leather. This is honestly really good vegan leather. It's so soft and honestly like it low-key looks like leather and this shoulder bag is very cute durable bam it's giving honey so let's move on we don't have that much left let's get into this bag this i don't know i don't know if this is leather or not i didn't check the tag but this bag was like $40, $50, and I got it from Neiman Marcus Last Call in person. Comes with the strap. I probably should have tried on every bag, but, you know, <laughs> sue me. <laughs> this is a cute bag, though. It actually looks cute with my outfit. And, yeah. I throw this bag around too, and it seems to be holding up very well. And I I don't know if this is real leather or not, to be honest. I don't think it is though. Maybe. I will I will figure that out. Oh, see, this is another good leather bag. And this is a Neiman Marcus brand. So this is their brand. They also have a brand of bags um at their stores. Neiman Marcus last call. So honey, get into it. Next, we have this fuzzy bag thing that I got off of Shein. I think this is a perfect little bag for a tropical vacation, honey. And I don't think this bag cost any more than 5 to $7. So great little cute bag just to throw on it and go and look cute. This next bag, see, I gotta dig into the depths. So this next bag, hand it out, is really cute. It's so sparkly shiny. I got this off of, I think I got this off of ASOS, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I got off of ASOS. And it's just like a chill bag. I don't think I paid any more than $20 for this bag. Uh, well, no, I shouldn't say it's chill. It's definitely a statement bag. Um, the way that my ring light is hitting this bag right now is kind of insane. So it's definitely like a cute little night out bag. Not everything has to be designer. It just has to look good. So I love, I like this bag and I, I got to wear it out again. Just got to figure out the time and place. Just another bag that... Uh, I would wear on vacation. I think I wore it for like um an OTD video that I did. So it's just a cute little straw bag. Nothing major. I picked this up from Marshalls or no yeah, Marshalls. I definitely got this from Marshalls. And you know, it's just it's giving Island Mommy. It's giving vibes. It's giving vacation vibes it's giving pina colada it's giving i don't know adventure okay so cute it's giving boho chic just wanted to add that in there too i guess <laughs> guys i forgot a bag so 
Here is this Valentino Milano uh, shoulder bag. It's very heavy, very heavy. So I got this bag off of, I think, Saks Off Fifth. Yes, I believe I got this bag on Saks Off Fifth. And this bag is about three years old now. The strap has not held up at all, as you guys can see in that corner, on that right-hand corner, honey. It's, it's giving get your life. <laughs> I need to go get this fixed or something, but it is a really cute bag. And honestly, like I, I throw this bag around. This was literally my everyday bag. I don't wear it as often now because of way, the way the strap looks, but this has been my everyday bag, go-to bag because it carries so much. There's one more bag. She is not here with us. And that's because my sister is actually borrowing it today. But a picture will be up here somewhere on the screen. It is the Marc Jacobs tote bag. Um, I got it when I think they first started like coming out with those kind of tote bags. Um, really cute. And now that I see the other colors and sizes, I'm like, ah, I wish I would have got that one. I wish I would have got this one. But it's a cute bag overall. It's great for like cute little, I wouldn't say beach days because you can't fit like a huge towel in it, but you could fit like a, you could fit like a thin, like um a sheet in it that's pretty big, but as long as it's thin and not bulky, you can put, you know, your sunscreen, all of that stuff in there and you're just good to go. Thank you guys for tuning in to my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment, share, all of that good stuff. And let me know what else you want to see. You know, I just showed you my entire bag collection. Um, do you want to see more videos on bags? Do you want to see some videos on shoes? Because I got shoes. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> but, you know, anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. All right. I'm out.